Boys. Today I'm going to be doing a mega subscription box unboxing for you. I have two boxy charms, two Sephora play boxes, and then a Beautycon unboxing. And as you know, they've been adding up around here because I was in the hospital so I couldn't film it on time for you, but I hope that you'll still enjoy seeing these goodies. So first I'm going to go over the play box from December for Sephora. I don't have the box for this anymore. We unboxed it with Mama B. Um, but this is a Tate I take the party with me in rose gold lettering. That's really cute. This bag is one of the cutest I've seen from them. All right, so first, we have, oh my gosh, we have a little detox dry shampoo from Dry Bar. This is one of my favorite dry shampoos. It smells so good and it works really, really well. Next is a just sample of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Vanilla Bourbon perfume. This came out last year with another one of theirs. I do really like this scent, but it's pretty strong, um, so it's definitely not for everyone. It's a little bit musky, a little bit... I mean, it's really good for winter. I'd say fall, winter, because it has that deeper scent to it. Next is a teeny tiny little Sephora cream lip stain. Do you see how teeny that is? And this is in the shade Always Red, which I probably won't ever wear, because <laughs> I rarely wear red lipstick, but it's a... Best-selling lip stain, high coverage lip stain that provides beautiful, long-lasting matte color. So I will give that a try. There's some really great stuff in the December bag. They also gave us a Makeup Forever primer, the Step 1, which I believe is the smoothing one, and I love this. I'm almost out of, of a full size of this one, so really great primer. Kind of smooths out your pores and imperfections on your skin, too, and then just gives you a really great base. And then there's a Smoky Eye Mascara from Bobbi Brown. I've never tried any of Bobbi Brown mascara, so this is a nice deluxe size of that. And then I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know is pretty much a holy grail staple for me. I always have this setting spray around. Ah, there we go. Look, it's a cute little baby mini. I'll definitely keep this for travel purposes, but this stuff really sets your makeup and you don't have to worry about your makeup going everywhere all day. Really good when you live in hot temperature. It's like I do. So this is January's play box. This is a different kind of bag. It says, sweat is just another way to glow. <laughs> as like a neon orange little ribbon and it has like a fishnet backing so you can see through it. So I've already unbagged all these goodies because I did take a sneak peek at this. So first there's an Amore Pacifica, no, Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact. There's like three different colors that you can choose from. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to use that because they look really dark, the colors. But I'll probably hand that off to someone who can use that. This is, I always forget how to say this name. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt it. I think it's we hair care. It's it's not said how it looks. Mama B's trying to help me over here with the word. <laughs> she's she's worse at pronouncing things than me and she's trying to help me right now. <laughs> OJ. I don't know how to say this. Way, I, th I don't know. I think it's way for some reason. I don't know. It's a treatment mask, but I know I'll definitely get use out of this because I love good conditioning treatment masks. Then there is a sample of the new Tory Burch Love Relentlessly perfume. The bottle's really pretty. And I actually did try this on and it smelled really good on my skin even too. Does it say the notes on here? Well, I guess not, but it kind of has a sweetness, but then once it's on my skin for a while, it has a little bit of a kind of patchouli scent to it um, as it kind of combines with my skin, but it lasted really long. So that's always good. And then there's a little mini of the Tarte Friction Stick. I have a full size of this. It's an exfoliating treatment, but in a stick form. So you can just kind of make your make sure to have your face wet first and then scrub this on. It does a pretty good job. It's not my favorite exfoliant, but this little mini size is so dang cute. And then there is a deluxe size sample of the Youth to the People. Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Cream. Age Prevention Moisture Cream. So very cool. I know that's a new brand that Sephora just started carrying. And then there's also a lippy in here from Clinique. And this is in the shade Black Honey, which I know is one of their most popular shades. And I believe this is just one of their Moisture Balm Sticks. I did try it on. It felt really nice. And it does, it seems like it would be a really dark color, but it's more of a sheer color. 
Mama Bee's helping out. See how sheer it is? It just gives you like a little bit of a wash of color. I actually like that. That's coming to my house. Oh, okay. Well, Mama Bee can have it because you know I have a ton of lip products. All right, so that's it for Sephora Play. I feel like they consistently are getting better with their product selection, so I am happy with the last two boxes. Moving on to BoxyCharm. I have two months worth of BoxyCharm as well. Summer box. This is called Makeup on Point, but it has like ballet slippers, that kind of point. All right, so first, which I really am excited to try out because I have not tried this product yet, it's the makeup eraser, but this is the mini version of that, so you can travel with it. So the purpose of this makeup um, remover is just a cloth that has a specific kind of fiber, I guess, that helps you to remove your makeup without water and without any other product. I'm extremely skeptical of that, so <laughs> we will see if I find that that works well. Then there's this beautiful deep burgundy nail polish from Butter London. I absolutely love this brand. They always have great products. And this is in the shade Ruby Marais. Really beautiful for the fall. Um, by the way, those were both full size products, obviously. The makeup eraser goes for $12, and the Butter London. I almost said gloss. Butter London nail polish goes for 15 And then there is an Ofra liquid lipstick, which I do have this color. So it's going to go in a future giveaway. It's in Napa Valley. It was one of their newer shades for the fall winter. And this is from Ibby Beauty or IBY Beauty and the color Rosebud. It looks like a really pretty color. So we're going to use Mama Bee's hand again. Show them. Right there. Really pretty. It's a very natural very. color, right? Pretty. And then there's also this full-size Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Looks very promising because it's called the Buff Collection. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. The packaging itself, like the um, like how the sizing is and how it opens and everything, seems a lot like Urban Decay. Think someone copied. And even these shades look a lot like the Naked 3 palette. So I'll have to compare and see, but they look extremely similar to the Naked 3 palette, which I'm going to have to see the price in the box right now, but it probably is less expensive than the Urban Decay. So we'll see if the quality ends up matching. It does have a brush included, and that goes for $50. So it's like the same price as the Urban Decay. Personally, you guys know I love my Urban Decay Naked palette, so I don't know if that's going to be better and for me to suggest that over it, especially since I copied. All right, so I think that box was awesome. All right, so here is boxy chart number two. This is January's. And it says, and the charm award goes to, which is really cute since it's award season right now. Okay, so the first thing is a full size of the Oscar Blondie dry shampoo spray. Who's tried this? I have yet to try it. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on this because I know it's pricey. Let's see, it goes for $23. And then there is a nail treatment essential or it's organic infused, it says, a Desi New York. I'll probably give this away to you guys because, as you know, I do gel manicures and acrylics mostly, so I don't really need a nail treatment, but this is what it looks like. Here's another product I'll most likely give away to you guys um, because I don't use cheek stains, but this is from Pure Cosmetics. It's a cheek stain in the color Cabernet, which is a really beautiful kind of wine tint. I'm not going to swatch this because, you know, I want to keep it sanitary for you, but here's the cute packaging. And it's just a cream product that you can blend into the skin and gives more of like a natural stain to the cheeks. And one of the things I was most excited about in this box was this little baby from Vintage. It's an illuminating face highlighting highlighter set in the shade Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamonds. So here's the beautiful packaging. And while Mama Bee helps me open that up, it also came with a fan brush for highlighting purposes. This is called the Deluxe Highlight Fan um, from Crown Brush. And let me tell you pricing really quick. The Vintage Highlighter Set is $35. The Crown Brush is $12.99. The Pure Cosmetics Cheek Stain is $26. Wow. And the um, Matte Top Coat. Oh, it's an Ultra Suede Matte Top Coat, the nail. It doesn't say that on there. Um, that goes for $18. So really great value to this box this time around. And I did already swatch this because, sadly, you can kind of see I did. Um, sadly, I had to refilm this part, <laughs> but look how beautiful those highlights are. Okay, we're going to swatch it on Mama Bee's hand. Nice. Woo. 
Ooh, look at those highlights. So pretty. I cannot wait to try those out. So definitely a good box. Thanks to BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is definitely my favorite subscription service because they give all full-size products and they're usually products that I'll use, which I really appreciate. Okay, next we're going to do the BeautyCon box. And BeautyCon is a quarterly subscription service. I'll have everything linked down below, including if I have a coupon code. I have in the past. I'm not sure if I do this time because um, they did send me this box. All right, so I started to open this but haven't looked inside. So this is what it looks like. And this time around it was curated or collaborated with Dulce Candy, who's a big YouTuber. If you don't already know her, I'll link her down below. But pretty much she's one of the first YouTubers I ever watched when I started watching YouTube beauty videos. All right, so this first product I already know about because they did send me like a sneak peek of two products. And I gave this to Mama Bee and she's really, really liking it I so far. I love it. She's next to me. It's the Skin Evolve Body Carrot Cream with caffeine and argan oil. It's paraben free and sulfate free, and it says hydrate, tone, smooth, improve skin texture. And it kind of has like a lemony butter scent to it. Um, it blends into the skin really easily, and it's, it's a greasy. really big. It's not greasy. Not greasy. Mombi says not greasy, and it's a really nice big full size. So that's a good one. And then there's a little mini baby size of my very favorite micellar cleansing water. This became a favorite last year for me from Garnier. And this is just the original, thank goodness, because I don't really like the waterproof version. So this is good for travel. Then there's a mascara from L'Oreal, the Voluminous Feline. I have a feeling I've tried this. I'm not sure if I have. But it has more of like a plastic bristle wand so that it catches every little lash and it looks really nice so we'll see what I think of that later speaking of L'Oreal there's also a voluminous primer base which I have tried and I know that I do really like this helps to um, just give you a base before mascara so it's easier to take off your mascara it conditions your lashes and helps them not to flake and fall out then there's also a really nice size deluxe sample of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, which is a really good intense exfoliator. Kind of has a lemony scent to it, if I remember correctly, and it has a green coloring to it and very fine micro beads. So it really gets in there and exfoliates really well, scrubs all that yucky stuff out of your pores. So I do enjoy this. I will definitely use that. Then there's a Luxie brush. I feel like there's a Luxie brush either in my BoxyCharm every month or in one of these. <laughs> they have definitely been making it into all the beauty boxes, but I love this one for setting under eye powder, like setting your concealer, um, or using it to highlight on the top of the cheekbone. So this one is a really good one. And this is called the 522 Tapered Highlighter. So I guess it is meant for highlighter. Then there's a little baby size of the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. You guys know I've used a full size of this before up in the past. It's really great. This is the medium deep coloring. So it's just really good even for contouring or warming up the skin. It's a matte bronzer, so and it's not too orange or not too cool tone where you're going to look overdone. You know, it's really nice. Then there's a lippy in here, and this is from Rimmel. And I believe this is brand new to their line, these kinds of lipsticks. This is the Pink A Punch, number 110, the only one lipstick. Mama B, where's that hand at? I like the flat kind of top lipsticks like this. Ooh, that's a bright pink. Woo! That's bright. That would be nice in the summer. Yeah, definitely gonna happen more in the summer for me. All right, there's a coupon in here from Allie and J Los Angeles for $50. What? $50 off your next order of 100 or more. That's where they get you. But it's an online site. So that's pretty cool. I've never shopped with them before. There's also one of these sheet masks from BioBell. And this is the Hydrate and Vitalize with Chocolate and Acai Berry. Hashtag decadence. How cute is that packaging? Okay, this lippy I also have already because it was one of the things that they showed me before the box came. So. Um, this will be going to you guys, so I'm not going to swatch it. I swatched it on uh, my channel already on the vlog, so I'll try and link that down below. But it's in the shade Beauty Con, and this shade is with ColourPop. It was a collaboration with ColourPop. It's one of their lippy sticks. And this shade will not be sold anywhere else but the Beauty Con box. So if you want this shade, you have to buy the box. And it's just a really pretty, deep, mauve nude. 
like that signature nude lip that everyone wants right now. And the lippy sticks do have a little bit of a shine to them, so they don't have, they're not too drying, so they have a little bit of moisture to them, but they are mostly matte and they have really nice pigment. And the last thing is from Artist Couture, which I've heard a lot about these and seen them on Instagram and from other big YouTubers. I know that they're only sold online, I believe. Um, this is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And it looks really pretty, like a golden kind of shade. I'll try and swatch my mom and be hand again for you. But I've heard that these are super like BAM highlights and you know I like a BAM high. Look at that. That's go back and forth. Yeah, that's pretty, there we go. It's like more golden, really pretty. I actually probably would use that as an eyeshadow on me because I think gold highlights don't look as good on my skin tone because I am so stinking fair. But that was an awesome beauty con box. They definitely stepped it up from the last time. Last quarters, a lot of people weren't too excited about it because there was a lot of sample sizes. This, side, this time I definitely think that they stepped it up. So yay, if you want to subscribe to any of these subscription services, again, I'll have them linked down below for you. Tell me what your favorite one is down below and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.